Hello, happy people, and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3, or as the folks in Helensburg call it, the Z3. I'm Mark, and my Zed, unfortunately, is in the shop because it was sounding like this. So I thought that rattle was the resonator because between it and the muffler, it was the only parts of the exhaust that I haven't replaced. And I took the cat back part of the exhaust off as you're gonna see in a minute. And by the way, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've never done that before on video. Uh, but it turns out the resonator was not the issue and we're gonna get into what the issue was after you see three Zeds of the week. And first up, we have Wes from Phoenix, Arizona with his 2000 2.3 liter automatic roadster with 61,000 miles. Now it's a recent purchase. Interestingly, Wes is thinking of painting his car Atlanta blue and changing the interior to beige so it looks more like the golden eye James Bond car. If you do that, Wes, keep us updated. Let us know how it goes and send us some new pics. Next up, we have Ethan from North Carolina with his 1999 2.5 liter 5 speed Roadster in Hellrot Red with 154,000 miles. Now, Ethan's done the A pillar fix I outlined in one of my videos. He's also done some work on the door weather stripping and a window track adjustment. He plans on keeping the car as original as possible. Finally, we have Carlos from California with his 1998 1.9 liter five speed roadster. Also a recent buy with 134,000 miles on it. Now Carlos has replaced the drive shaft, the Guibo, put in yellow fog lights, replaced the trunk struts, and his plans are to keep it as original as possible as well. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for sharing your beautiful cars. If you'd like to see your car on Zed of the Week, please follow the easy instructions in the description below. And now let's take a look at the source of that rattle. So here we are underneath the car. I'm just gonna follow it back. Just so you can get an idea of where we're at. Uh, I have to remove the cat back portion of the exhaust again, because I think the resonator it has something loose inside it's making that nasty noise and to remove that back part which i had to do in a previous video so uh the one where i changed catalytic converter so if you take a look you've got uh you can see the bolts the spring-loaded bolts that hold the cat back part of the exhaust to uh the catalytic converter part of the exhaust i loosen those bolts Coming to the aft side, you have the uh, hanger here on the rubber mount. Sorry, not a lot of light under here. So there's the rubber mount and the hanger. And then you've got two rubber mounts on either side of the muffler. There's the first one I already removed. These are a hassle because on the end of it, they've got this barb and it, it fits right in there, but it's kind of hard to uh, pull that over the barb. So you need to lubricate it. Then I took some vice grips. Well, you know what? I've got one left, so let me show you how to do it as best I can. There's the other one, which is on the uh, towards the middle of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off and I'm gonna fill it while I do it. Okay, into the fight. First thing I'm gonna do is hit this with a little uh, little lubricant to make our life a little easier squirt stuff would be the best although on the other one I did use a three-in-one oil out of a little squeeze bottle but then really the kind of the key to this is getting a big vice grip on it and squeezing it past that barb and it ain't easy to do when you've lubricated it that once you've got it over the barb to start with, then you can kind of kind of work it out by hand a little bit. Like most things underneath these cars, 
it's a matter of not having the room to work, but there we go. I left the middle hanger in. Uh, that's the last thing I'm going to get rid of because that's going to keep this from falling on me. And uh, next thing I'm going to loose, finish loosening up those spring-loaded bolts and then just unhook it, take it out, and we'll see what's wrong with it. So we are back under the car, this time with the endoscope after discovering that the resonator was not the source of my rattle. It was the catalytic converter, which off camera I shook and it made the rattling noise. Now we're going to go in and take a closer look at it, moving past the second O2 sensor, the one after the catalyst. And now we're basically inside the converter. And one thing you can see about the Davico 17031 that I bought and showed the installation of on a previous video is that the catalyst, the actual honeycomb material, does not fill completely the casing, only about half of it. And what has happened is, although you can see that the catalyst, the honeycomb material, is intact, there's nothing wrong with it, there's another material that holds the catalyst into the casing, and that material is let go because this catalyst as one piece can slide back and forth inside the casing, which I discovered. And I'm getting a really good endoscope picture for you, but there's just not enough space to really see uh, what what materials holding it in but it really doesn't make much difference uh, that material has let go and according to the shop which I trust and who's going to put my new one in there's absolutely no way to fix that so this catalytic converter is shot so folks there you have it I'm putting another catalytic converter in my car after a year and a half I'm not very happy about that a few things. Number one, if you bought the Davico equipment on my advice from the original video, I apologize. I hope you have better luck than I did. I hope I just got a one-off bad product. I still think Davico is a reputable company. With that said, I wrote them earlier this week and they have yet to get back to me about this issue. I'm hoping to hear from them. If I do, I'll update you. In the meantime, I can't recommend the Davico equipment. I'm taking the other video down, and I apologize if this has caused you any trouble. So, I hope you found this content valuable. If you did, please crush that like button. And until next time, remember, friends don't let friends drive boring.